This is Twit. So, for the sake of just not leaving something out that probably doesn't really matter, um, or, at, or I guess it matters because it just demonstrates sort of how nothing is happening like that should. Uh, there was uh, what made the news is that the U.S. Department of Homeland Security has designated election systems as a subsector of the country, the U.S.'s critical infrastructure um, after the intelligence community broadly concluded last year that Russia had tried to interfere with the 2016 U.S. US presidential election. As a consequence, there's. it turns out there's something that I was really never very aware of that they're called ISACs, I-S-A-C's, which are abbrevi- it's the abbreviation for Information Sharing and Analysis Center, which I, you know, is our tax dollars <laughs> here in the U.S. apparently spinning around in circles and getting nothing done. Oh, man. Um, uh, look at this website. I have a link here in the show notes, nationalisacs.org forward slash member hyphen ISACs, I-S-A-C-S. Um, and so there's already a bunch of them. Who knew? Um, for like, And I'll just give you, I'll read down to the I's in alphabetical order. Automotive, aviation, communications, defense, industrial base, downstream natural gas, as opposed to upstream natural gas, I guess, electricity, emergency management and response, financial services, healthcare, information technology. Okay, and then that gives you an idea. So I, who knows what this is? I mean, it just it's bureaucracy uh, at its finest. Um, and the problem, of course, is that so the idea is that states and localities are supposed to become members of the election systems ISAC and I don't know what happens then. I mean, the problem is, and we've been discussing voting machines for years, which arguably are based on last year's black hat and DEF CON horrifically insecure. And I mean, we've talked about unauthenticated remote Wi-Fi access evil made access where there's a like an, an active USB port on the side and you can just kind of sally up next to the machine and slip your slip it a, a thumb drive and take it over remotely and make it reboot and dump its contents out. And we were talking earlier this year about the problem that that the Black Hat and DEF CON conference organizers are having for this coming summer's events because now the people who had traditionally been reselling these machines are being illegally threatened by the, their, their machines manufacturers against reselling with attorneys writing them fraudulent letters claiming that it's illegal to resell them. And, you know, this certainly after what we're, we're approaching the end of year 12 now and – it's if not, nothing could be more clear to us and our audience than that this whole process is completely bass backwards. I mean, completely broken. What there should be is the kind of process that we'll be discussing that that that, that adopted and ratified TLS version 1.3, which is a standard that that industry and academia together worked on, polished, refined, argued over, fought over, wrestled to the ground, tested, implemented, and and just absolutely nailed, and now it is being adopted. That's that's the process that we should have for for something very in in many ways sort of similar to that has that, that shows many similar characteristics to voting automation the, it, it the, the the idea that that debold pronouncing the name correctly this time could could offer for sale a black box that that people adopt and use for something as important 
as voting where it's, oh, this is our proprietary technology and, and you can't see inside, but trust us. No, no. I mean, and it just, it's just, it's insane that this is, you know, that unfortunately this aspect of capitalism has been allowed to take hold and be employed in, in the U S or any, you know, election system. It ought to be an open standard developed in in full view and then yes i have no problem if then companies want to compete on implementing the standard which is created which is what we do now where we have other standards no the standard is open you you implement the standard you it is verified that you have done so correctly and then you're welcome to sell your hardware that runs the, the the system that has been universally agreed upon and pounded on, you're welcome to sell that. Fine. But, you know, this notion that, oh, you know, we've got the greatest security experts and after all, we're us. So who cares? Anyway, um, so nothing is happening. And I don't I don't know how like how long it's gonna take for for anything real to happen. But as long as we allow closed architecture voting, which is what this has become, you know, I mean, I mean and, and this is why now, you know, they're saying, OK, well, let's get a paper trail. OK, well, OK, I guess that's better, but it still seems uh, problematical. So, you know, this is a problem we know how to solve. But unfortunately, commercial interests in this country are preventing its proper uh solution. So who knows when that'll change. But however, you know, creating a new bureaucracy to talk about it doesn't seem to me like we're moving in the right direction.